the results provide an unprecedented insight into one of the most important planetary phenomena, El Niño, the subtle but massively influential encounter of warm waters in the tropical Pacific Ocean. El Niño of 2015-16 was a monster, changing weather patterns and leading the longest and longest recorded coral reef widening event. Throughout all this, scientists used OCO2 to observe the movement of carbon through the oceans and ecosystems. The general trend was a small surprise, a massive increase in global atmospheric carbon levels. Scientists have measured similar increases in carbon dioxide during the past El Niño. But the precise mechanism was elusive. OCO2 helped to clarify the issue by producing detailed maps. The researchers saw an initial decline in the amount of CO2 leaving the tropical Pacific Ocean, a fall later flooded by CO2 originating in Africa, South America and Southeast Asia as the event progressed. Carbon tracking is only the first step. These data are introduced into atmospheric models that can provide a more complete explanation of the origin and destination of any given CO2 molecule. Fortunately, sensors on board the OCO2 can assess the amount of photosynthesis using methods other than carbon flow measurement. They detect a signal linked to photosynthesis called sun-induced chlorophyll fluorescence, which provides an independent measure of the amount of CO2 plants they are taking. 